Morning there, bud. Well, the other day I just I came in the saw shop and I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I think in my last video I mentioned I got a three ranges saw shop. I've been uh, there's been talk of this TV show being shot out of this little room here of mine. I've been thinking about cleaning it up. And, uh, you ever seen these organ uh, calendars? They're just wonderful. You know, there's just some beautiful old pictures. Look at that, an old Mac. Oh, you know. Wait. So here's what I done. I I I rearranged the saw shop. I just I, like I say, I couldn't take it anymore. Uh, I got a little Macala corner here, kind of a nostalgic corner. Spread out the double bits all over the place. Just you know, if I need one, I just go grab it. You know. There's my McCulloughs hanging off of spurs and just kind of everything's easy to grab now. You know, and I, I'm look at the floor space. You know what I mean? It's just poof, you walk in and it's there. Here's all my stuff I use, my 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 weapons that I use from day to day, right in here. And and the rest is basically nostalgia. Even these huskies are. You know, I tell you something. Uh, I've spoke of it. I've spoke of it before. As I, I've been, I kind of, you know, collecting this stuff for years and years and years. It's only been in the last year and a half that I've been kind of sharing it with you guys or whatever. You know, I think coming up two years in July or somewhere along there. Anyway, um, you know, this is the Husky Wall, and and I used to run. In the days before I could afford anything, I would just kind of take what came my way um, when I was doing firewood, you know. And these 266, look at this. Remember this? Anybody remember that? It, it's just, it's, it's a nostalgic old sticker. Oh, I love that old sticker. It's a husky sticker, eh? Anyhow, here's a 268, okay? The 266 XPs were balls to the wall, bar none. They're actually a real tough pull. Ton of compression in these saws. And they cut. The 266 was a great saw. It's almost like a 372, a little step under, okay? You know, but um, a beautiful saw. The 266 XP, if you ever see one out and about, which they're around, grab it. Do yourself a favor and grab it. They're a great older saw. You know, they're not ancient, but they are sure nice saws to run still, you know. And also, I just kind of hung up a, a few things here to get it off the floor, and it kind of turned out looking not bad, actually. Years ago, I, I was collecting these old bark spurs that these guys used to use in the 30s and the 40s, and, you know, and, and uh, these big, long bark spurs, you know. Look, look, at, look at that. That's like a... They're long. Like, I use them for old growth. You know, there's another set here. So there they are, there. You know, well, yeah, look at these. Look at these. Look, look at the bark spur on that. A lot of guys don't see. <laughs> look at the size of that. Look where it goes. It sticks out about three inches from the, you know. They're beautiful for old growth, climbing old growth. Big, thick bark trees. This is funny. This thing here, guys and gals, women and children. <laughs> this is really funny. My kids and my wife, I, I, I love this, 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 this shirt. Um, I wore this until it fell right off me. You can see it. I would still wear it. But uh, it, it's hung up. It's retired now. And as you can see, I'm breaking in its second part. Love these magnets. Anyway, so that's the saw shop. She's cleaned up, looking good. Looking real good. Off to go cable of cherry tree. After all that logging talk, go cable of cherry tree. 